Shalom, mom, sisters. All praises to the Most High for another day. Call Haloi Ha Bashimi Ha Shai. Um, I want to thank the Most High for putting the spirit on me for watching these video for making these videos, Salakia. And I want to thank y'all for watching these videos. And I truly do this. I did. I started, like I said, I started doing these videos for myself, so I, you know, could grow stronger in a word. So, because I know, you know, how you know what you need to do, and you can't be a hypocrite if you're telling other people what to do. So it kind of, you know. So I won't be a hypocrite in the sight of all men and sisters. So that's why I do these videos for myself as well. Um, just to help me out. But, and to help sisters out. And also to encourage sisters because we have so much potential. You know, sometimes we we may not get told that. Especially in the truth because we always hear, like we got the, excuse my language, but the S-H-I-T, the shitty end of the stick because, you know, you always hear, oh, you women this and you you women that and Eve this and Eve that. And sometimes we don't hear a lot of encouraging things or it's not a lot a lot of videos to, that's for us. And that's also why I did this because, you know, sisters, we need sisters. We need, you know, somebody to help help us to help guide us to instead of, you know, people always not so much bringing us down, but not so much uplifting us, if you know what I mean. So especially in this truth. And we play a major role in the nation of Israel. And so, um, all praises to the Most High for putting the spirit on me to do these videos. So, a sister asked a good question yesterday. I'm about to read the question after somebody. Okay. They have to, I had to wait for somebody to stop calling me. A sister asked a sincere question yesterday. She asked me. It was a comment under a video, but instead of just responding to her under the, the sister... I wanted to do a video for you, not only for you, but for other sisters as well, so it could help other sisters that may be in this predicament. A sister asks, how do you encourage your husband about him stepping up a bit more without teaching him? The majority of our men are raised in the matriarch as well, so they struggle leading. I'm a little lost on that part. Shalom, thank you. The water for watching my video, sis. And um, I feel, well, let me read it one more time. Encourage your husband about stepping up a bit more without teaching. And she, okay, she said that struggle leading. So a lot of men do have struggle struggles leading struggles, you know, leading in this truth. Like a lot of sisters, you know, we can't be so hard on them. All we can do is encourage them. And I'm gonna tell you how. So you know, based off of slavery, we were always pushed. Oh, for example, a brother under the one of the Watchmen for Israel cold cuts. It was a um, a video. My husband had did a video about marriage, and a sister left a comment underneath, and she said, um, "Oh, it was your role as a husband." So my sister left a a sister left a comment underneath, and was like, "You know, a lot of men don't know how to step up to be to be a leader, so that's why women." lead you know in the household financially and da 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 da, da. and he said the, the brother left a, a brother left a comment and said not no man in the truth and i really felt like that wasn't true because you don't brothers struggle with leading as well brothers struggle with a lot of things just like a sister struggle with being submissive brothers can struggle with leading we think about it we can't we're coming out of a slave mentality we coming out of being asleep for so long where women ruled the house and men just said Oh, yeah, if my wife says it's okay, I'll do it. Like, that's the type of stuff that we were raised on. So it is hard for men sometimes to lead and to be leaders. But as their helpmates, the best way to encourage them is to always uplift them and first and foremost, thank them for the things that they do do right. So whether it is, whether it's they cut the grass or they, they gave the kids a bath or they're good with the children or they read scriptures to the children and he paying the mortgage and paying a car note and you see he going to work every day he work overtime then he go out teaching he taking care of business and he helping other brothers out and say he's just doing whatever it is that whatever it is that you see that deserve some type of praise just do it just say you know what i really appreciate the way that you helped that brother out when he needed help i really appreciated the way that you took gave the kids a bath when you knew that i wasn't feeling good it's always good to encourage i mean that's a good way of encouraging them because when you thank them they feel good and they feel like they're doing something right and it's going to make them want to do better so 
say your husband is struggling with um, a few things. I'm going to just go based off of the things that I've learned so far in my marriage. When I, I saw that my husband, um, I, I saw that he had potential in certain areas in our life, in his life. I saw that he had um, potential to do to do well, to be better, to be stronger. So, like I said, I always encourage him by thanking him for the things that he does do right. So encouraging him, one of the things that I did do that worked really well that we haven't had to do since we did this, which I feel like we probably should just because um, to like refresh stuff. But what, what we did was I came up with the idea we took piece of paper and we wrote on a piece of paper a list of the things that we appreciate about each other the things we love about each other the things that we feel like that we need to do better so I wrote on a piece of paper the things that I feel like my husband need to do better the things that I love about him the things that uh what else oh and our goals so it was our goals the things that he, I feel like he had more potential in doing better and yeah the things that wait hold on y'all i'm sorry i don't want to get y'all confused okay it's a thing <laughs> i'm doing too much the things that i love about him the th so we wrote down the things that we love about each other i'm sorry y'all <laughs> the things that we love about each other the things that we feel like we could do better and our goals so we did that and then we cut them up and we balled them up it was kind of extra but we bought them up and we put them in a hat you don't gotta do all that you could just take the paper and read it but it just made it i guess fun i guess so we just read the things that, and each person would take out something, you know, about, okay, so he'll read, I like the way you cook. And I'll be like, okay, you know, that makes me feel good. Then he'll say, well, I feel like you need to do this, that, and the third more. And I'll be like, okay, all right, well, I can get that. So it's a just balance. It's not just you cramming stuff down each other's throat. Because like, when you start telling him what he could do better, or you feel like you telling him how to lead more, then he could feel like, well, you don't know how to uh, be submissive. So it can be like a negative. It could, it's going to be negative if you do it that way. If you just tell him off the jump what you feel like he need to do better, it's best for y'all both to do it to each other. And I feel like this way helps. It's like a little activity and y'all can both get y'all point across. And when, when you're pulling out your goals and you see that, you know, y'all might have the same goals and stuff, that, that brings you closer together. And, um... And I like I still even have like some of those things and that was probably like from like four years ago I still have some of those things that we wrote our goals down like I just put them in little books and stuff and then I found out that I was um, uh, I found out some good news so it's funny I opened up to some good news and then I opened up to this uh, little Bible book that I had and I said wow this is one of the things you know we found we found this out and this is one of our goals so you know it's always good to you know have them around the house or even on the refrigerator your goals your list of goals after you do them write them down and put them on your refrigerator and stuff so y'all can get closer and you know achieving your goals together i think that's honestly the best way to encourage a husband to be a leader is to tell him that you appreciate him and that you love him and you appreciate the things that he do and also you could say you make him a dinner so like here i gotta drink some of this water mm. so you make him a dinner you make him a dinner you make whatever his favorite dish is and if you don't know how to cook it figure it out make his favorite dish and you should you should though you should honestly you should know what your husband's favorite dish is. But whatever his favorite meal is, cook it for him. If y'all got kids, tell the kids to go sit down, put on ABC time, movies, whatever you got to do. Put, put, them, put them to bed, whatever. Make his favorite meal. And say, you know what? I want to sit down and I want to tell you how much I appreciate you. And I also want to just tell you that you have so much potential. You have so much potential being a leader. You have so much potential into stepping up more. And I know that you can do it. And I really think that it's something that maybe we can even both fast and pray on. And that's important too, is fasting and praying too, because y'all are one body, y'all are one flesh. So it don't hurt to do that. You know, that's the beautiful thing in the Most High's eyes. 
is a, a man and a wife that agreed together. So, you know, why not strive to be beautiful in the eyes of the Most High and, you know, agree together and come together and actually hear each other out and, you know, try to try to tell people to try to tell your husband what to do without putting him down or you know making him feel bad or making him feel like he don't do enough that's why i say always encourage him even throughout the day or throughout the week or whatever it is that he may do because you know they they catch a lot in this captivity you know and we was raised like i said before we was raised in a society where the men were just our men were just treated like nothing like nothing like in the, during slavery you had the mammy telling everybody what to do the mammy slapped the man in front of the kids and the kids like dang i ain't listening to him because he getting slapped in front of the uh the, the plantation owner and whoop she she the boss she the boss so that's how it is that's how we was raised even from the beginning like even in my household i just i seen how my mother used to my dad tried to um you know suggest things and my mother would just be like mm -mm, no mm -mm. like I grew up in a household like that so and that's how a lot of us grew up and a lot of us grew up with our father not there so or he might have been there and then he left or you know your mother might have been there and your mother left so you don't really know nobody has a real a righteous example of you know how to encourage and uplift your partner and correct them without teaching them so that's the best advice i can give and i truly hope that that helps and hopefully y'all understood um i'm trying to think of anything else anything else i can think of before i end this video let me think I'm trying to think of what else you could do um yeah that's all i can say study together fast together pray together um encourage your husband that's all you can do I'm telling you 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 oh ain't like I, and this is what i did this is what i be doing too and i'm telling y'all it works so good it works so well i got breakfast after one letter y'all i got and my husband don't never cook nothing i wrote my husband a letter and I, i'm not saying y'all husband gonna make y'all breakfast because he ain't do, he don't that was just one time that he did it when i had his back in a certain situation i wrote him a long letter but I always, you know, take the time, like, every once in a while, I'll write my husband a letter, just saying how much I love him and appreciate him and how he's just, like, you know, the best and, you know, how I always, and then I always act, you have potential to be better. So this is not it. I always feel like this isn't, this isn't it. You have potential to be better. But, you know, after I wrote one letter like that, I remember I woke, I woke up and I had breakfast. So he made me breakfast. But you know they'll see they they really appreciate stuff like that. I'm telling y'all they they really do. So you know, and they'll also make sure you doing what you need to do as a woman before you try to you know. So you won't seem like a hypocrite, you know. Make sure you doing what you need to do before you try to uh, correct your husband as well. That's why I said sometimes you might sometimes you think you might be doing everything right, but your husband might be like, oh well. She might she's slacking in this department. That's why I said it's best to write the list and you know to take them out of the hat or candle or cup or bowl, or whatever, and go from there. But um hopefully that helps. Uh yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully that helps. So hopefully y'all stay strong in the spirit. And remember, let your husband lead you righteously, and remember that sometimes that they can struggle with that because of where we come from, just like how we struggle with we, some of us may struggle as Israelite women with being submissive coming out of the world. So um, with that being said, Shalom, sisters. I love y'all. Hopefully y'all stay strong in the spirit and have a blessed day. Shalom.